Do you want some free V-Bucks? Yes! If so, you can get some right now by clicking the link in the description below labeled free V-Bucks. All right, what is going? What is happening? How is everybody doing today? My name is Chuck and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. If you guys here today is I'm actually going to be showing you how to basically never be able to lose another game of Fortnite again. I'm going to be showing you guys the best possible ways to set yourself up to get that sweet victory royale, to be able to get a ton of kills and actually make sure you're having an absolute blast while pulling all those W's. It's going to be super awesome. I got a bunch of really awesome tips here for you guys in this video. So sit back, relax and enjoy them. If you guys think you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like on it. A like rating is always greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys enter into my May 5,000 V-Buck giveaway by dropping a like here on today's video, subscribing plus turning on notifications, and then commenting down below. With that being said, let's hop into today's video and show you guys how to never be able to lose another game of Fortnite Battle Royale. Okay, so I'm going to start this right off here by saying that, I mean, it's going to be virtually impossible to quote-unquote never lose another game of Fortnite, but I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly to be able to win, you know, as many games as you possibly can to get your win ratio up there super super high your win percentage up super high no matter if you're playing solos duos or squads there's gonna be a lot of factors that you can actually can't really deal with but there's also gonna be a bunch of them that you can actually throw in your favor that's ultimately gonna give you the odds and actually give you the better odds of coming out on top of every single gunfight engagement whatever it may be so we're gonna just hop right into this here and show you guys you know basically what is going on so this is gonna be more so aimed at some of my console players because I currently do play on PlayStation 4 so the number one thing that I could actually tell you guys right now is actually going to be your button layout is you know you have to actually make sure you're playing on the correct button layout so if you guys are playing on default you're playing on combat pro if you're playing on any other button layout besides builder pro you're actually doing it wrong if you're not playing on builder pro you are literally doing it wrong I don't know exactly what you're doing but you need to swap over to builder pro ASAP and here's gonna be the reasons why so if you guys are playing on combat pro while it is actually super awesome and you can actually do everything you really want to builder pro is like building off of combat pro but it does make your building 10 times easier so if you're going to be using builder pro everything is going to be mapped to specific buttons like your wall is going to be your r2 your you know your ramp is going to be your l2 your floor or your ceiling is going to be r1 and then your sort of like diamond pyramid type of thing is actually going to be your l1 so it's all mapped to different sorts of triggers and it's super easy to be able to place them down as opposed to having to let's say bring out your menu and then swap over by pressing r1 to one of them and actually then pressing R2. So you're essentially eliminating multiple seconds off of your building time and being able to just absolutely do everything instantly. And that can mean the difference between life or death and a bunch of these different gunfights. And if you can actually get to the point where you're mastering Builder Pro and you know exactly what is going on, you're gonna be so much more better off than some of the other noobs in the lobby or just other people that really do not build nearly as good. And it's gonna be super useful. So if you guys can go ahead and try out Builder Pro, I will say it is a massive difference. I used to be a huge advocate of Combat Pro and I didn't switch over to Builder Pro as soon as it got added into the game but when I found out one of my buddies is actually using it and he's been a really really good Fortnite player I ended up swapping over myself and I was like okay this is actually the movement if I wasn't using this beforehand I don't even know why I wasn't using it beforehand but if you guys have not tried it make sure you guys actually go ahead and try out Builder Pro get used to it because this is the button layout that's going to make you the most elite player in Fortnite Battle Royale in your lobby okay so the second thing here kind of going off a little bit of going on to Builder Pro this is kind of building off of it no pun intended but it's actually always about having the high ground no matter what situation you are in so I want to kind of throw a little bit of a scenario to you guys right here so if you're in a little bit of a build battle with somebody and somebody actually manages to build on top of you or anything like that do not actually go down to the ground because the chances of somebody let's say have an RPG some sort of explosive or something like that it's gonna be a lot easier for them actually be able to shoot down at the ground versus you actually having to look completely up in the air and being able to you know shoot up at them it's just so much easier to be able to look down than it is to be able to look up and you also have so much more situational awareness if you're actually having the high ground you can look around you can look for a multitude of different things and even other oncoming players or squads or duos whatever it may be that's actually going to be coming to you so make sure you always have the high ground no matter if you have to build up super fast on somebody or if you have to ramp rush somebody by ramp rushing you basically just place down a bunch of different ramps and everything you'll know, probably place down two at a time that makes it so it's a little bit harder to shoot out the ones from underneath you because you do have two of them and they do have to waste extra ammunition so a little bit of a 
quick, you know, hint and, you know, trick right there to be able to do it. So always ramp rush with two ramps aside, and it's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier because you're going to be able to get on the high ground, and they're always going to get stuck underneath you. So if you're able to get the high ground and be able to shoot them from above, it's going to make your life just, just so much better when you're able to use your RPG, shoot down at them, as opposed to them having to wait and, you know, go out into the open because they can't see you from where they are underneath. I'm telling you right now, unless they just get an absolutely crazy lucky shot, which does occasionally happen, you are going to be coming out on top of those gunfights more often than not. So having the high ground, I'm just, I'm telling you right now, is going to be one of your things to be able to do. And if you have Builder Pro, you should have absolutely no, you know, sort of, you know, disadvantage when it comes to building up because Builder Pro does allow you to build yourself up very, very fast and efficiently. So we're going to be jumping right in here to the number three thing on our list out of five. And this is going to be depending on where you actually land. So we're going to be going over some low key landing spots and also some, you know, high kill skill spots. So this is going to be more so a thing. We're going to just jump in here to the low key type of spots. They're going to want to be able to jump. That's actually going to get you a fair bit of loot, but also is not going to yield to a heck of a lot of competition off the bat. So if you're going for the longevity and specifically only going to be able to get the victory royale and not necessarily a ton of kills, these are going to be some spots you guys definitely want to be able to take notice of. So some of the new spots or some of the spots you guys actually want to take notice of is actually going to be jumping out to snobby shores. Well, snobby shores is actually a, you know, a names location where you can jump out to and a lot of people actually know where it is. It's actually going to be a location that's very easy to be able to get a lot of loot from just purely because there's so many different chests in those houses, at least three to four per house. And sometimes there's even something underneath the houses, which does make, you know, just that much better. But it's also a spot that's closer to the edge of the map. So even if you actually do have a couple people there, the chances of you actually being able to kill them versus maybe, let's say, jumping out to like Pleasant Park or let's say Dusty Divot, it's going to be a lot higher because you have a lot less people to be able to worry about. So you don't always have to check your back and maybe build up to a massive, massive structure. I would say that Snobby Shores is a great spot to be able to land. Also jumping out to prison because I really don't think many people jump out to prison anymore. Like I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I really don't think people jump out to prison. I hardly ever go there anymore, especially since that meteor hit. It's kind of like almost it just got taken off the map. People just completely overlook it and they're like, you know, why would anyone ever go to prison? It's kind of in that sort of awkward spot where you just really don't find that much action, but it's actually really great to be able to get a decent amount of loot there because the meteor came through. There's always a chest on the cars, at least down below. So you're going to get some chests right off the bat, get some good loot. And there's also, you know, a decent bit of ammo cases and everything and a lot of different floor loot. So that's always a really good option to be able to go to prison because it's not super high traffic, but there's always a decent amount of stuff there. And also the last thing for the low key spots for you guys to be able to actually land at is going to be Moisty Mire. And you guys may be saying like, you know, why would you even land Moisty Mire? Well, I was actually one of those people that was like, you know what? I'm not landing to Moisty. It's once again at the edge of the map. I'm going to get screwed by the zone, but more often than not, you won't get screwed by the zone if you're going to Moisty Mire. I, I feel like I get screwed more by the zone when I go to Snobby Shores, but within Moisty Mire, you're actually able to jump out there, and there's they kind of like revamp the place to make it sort of like a movie set. There's So there's a significant more amount of loot, and there's always different chests and stuff right around by the trees, even when it's actually not part of that sort of movie set. So there's a really good amount of loot right there, and it's always kind of one of those spots that's pretty underrated just because it's closer to the edge of the map, and people really don't want to make that trek. So you're going to outlive a lot of the different people right there, and so you're going to be able to come through on the edge of the zone and get a bunch of different people from the outside, and it's ultimately going to make it so you get a decent amount of kills, and you'll be able to get that victory royale. As far as going to some of the high kill skill spots, it's actually going to be, we're going to be naming off three areas, which is Dusty Divot, Retail Row, and Pleasant Park. These are all areas that have a high amount of traffic. There's always going to be squads jumping out there or just solos do as whatever it may be every single game, no matter what. I can't tell you there's ever been a single game where not somebody else besides me, my squad, or anybody else that has not jumped out with me to Dusty Divot, Retail Row, or Pleasant Park. So you're always going to get a lot of different engagements right there. And what actually does happen if you get a lot of different engagements is it does improve your sort of you know skill as a player because these are the high skill kill spots so these are the type of spots that you're going to jump out to where there's going to be more so some skilled players but you're also going to run into players that I like to call trash cans which are actually pretty bad at the game so it's going to be a lot of good stuff right there you're going to get a lot of loot and they're also going to have a lot of different chances to get into engagements and ultimately build up your skill level as a player so jump out to any of those three locations Dusty Divot, Retail Row, Pleasant Park or even Tilted Towers to actually be able to you know get all your skill 
skill up, which does, of course, allow you to be a better player. And if you do happen to make it out of there alive, which there isn't always that great of a chance, you're going to end up out there with a lot, a lot of kills. And it's going to make the rest of the match actually quite easy for you because you've already dealt with a bunch of stuff. And obviously, you didn't have that much loot right when you get in there. So you're going to have a lot of loot and you're going to be fully meted up, which is going to be super awesome. The last thing for today's video is actually going to be what should you be running in your loadout? So your loadout is probably one of the more important things here in Fortnite. And you do have those five slots. So really, what should you be filling up those five slots with? So here's going to be my sort of, you know, personal suggestion on what you should be running those five slots with. And this is something that I always like to try to find, but it doesn't always come the easiest for me. So I always like to be able to run an AR, whether it be, you know, a burst rifle, like a blue burst or just some sort of regular automatic rifle. If I happen to find a scar, that's always fantastic. Why would I not ever pick up a scar? So an automatic rifle, we're going to go with a pump shotgun, a tack shotgun, some explosives, and then obviously medical supplies of some sort, preferably some shields or some minis. You can always have med kits, but if you do happen to have the chance to be able to pick up a bunch of minis versus med kits, always take the minis because minis are a little bit more important because your shield does go down first before your actual health. So realistically, you should be picking up shields before you should be picking up med kits. And that's just kind of like my sort of personal recommendation for explosives. Obviously, it really doesn't matter if you have an RPG or grenade launcher, but personally, I love to be able to run the AR. I love to be able to run the, you know, the tack and the pump sort of setup. You can also, I think, double pump in this sort of newer update. But personally, I just find, you know, the tactical shotgun provides me a little bit more consistency than the pump. So if I get maybe, let's say, that awkward, you know, seven or eight damage using the the uh, the pump shotgun, I can swap over to my tack and kind of, you know, rapid fire take people out. It does lead to me getting a lot of different kills. So I always love running that loadout of the AR, the pump, the tack, the explosives, and then obviously the meds in that specific order. So that is going to be about it for today's video. These are going to be my top tips to allow you guys to never lose another game of Fortnite Battle Royale. I showed you guys the best loadout, landing spots, the tips to be able to do, and also your specific button layout you should be rolling with. So if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. Like rating is always greatly appreciated. Make sure you guys, of course, enter yourselves into my monthly 5,000 V-Buck giveaway by dropping a like, subscribing, plus turning on notifications, and then commenting down below. With that being said, my name's been Chuck. Hope you did enjoy today's video. Hope to see you around on the channel in the future. But until next time, just remember, don't triple cap, don't be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.